Hi, you're with Amanda from ProfessionalRockstars.com at L'Oreal Toronto Fashion Week. And I'm currently here with two leaders in fashion for the past 40 years, Pat McDonough and Emma. Hello. Yeah, hi. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> and we are standing next to the wonderful $175,000 dress that has been created with a combination of talents of both Pat and Emma. When did you decide to do this? Uh, well, originally I approached Amar because I knew he did incredible watches. And the inspiration for the L'Oreal Gala Night was Fragments of Time. And I remembered the old movie Metropolis where everything's controlled by the big clock. So this is a lady like you, I, everybody, where we love pretty feminine chiffon, but we're controlled by time. So you're bondaged by the white alligator straps. Wow. Um, you both started at a very young age. Can you each tell me in your own experience how the fashion industry has changed over the years? Yeah, I, well I actually started the Canadian Designer Association and next February I will be doing my 40th year in the fashion industry and my 80th collection. I've done two collections a year and when we first started I came here and I did all the clothes for Diana Rigg in the Avengers. And I was in a little van on miniskirt and the whole world here was very conservative. And they didn't have any pantyhose. Oh, you were a rebel. And Canadians were regarded as just making things for the mounties and nobody ever thought fashion came out of Canada. So I think I was one of the early pioneers of the industry. And now I think people, we have the top models, most of them about 50% are Canadian. We have top designers in Milan. So I think now people are accepting Canada as an international fashion for us. Yes, and you have many uh, fans all over the world. You've been doing couture for so long. Um, who are some of your celebrity clients? The original dress I did was for Barbara Streisland in the 70s with this overskirt in black. And it was on, um, then it was records. And so I'd forgotten about it. And then it, we, met, we said last night she's in town. I would love to give her a new version. I did the dress for Princess Diana when she came here, when she was engaged, and then I did another dress for Princess Diana when she was here on the Britannia yacht. I did Mila Mulroney for the International Summit. Um, I dressed, a, when I first came here, a heavy rock group called uh, Lynx in Bones and Glue. And I did the first jackets for the Beatles in a very obscure movie called Beat on the Borders. So I've dressed quite a lot of people. I know you're unbelievably passionate about your work. Where do you find your inspiration? Anything you do, you have to love it. If you don't love it, you're not able to do it. You know, sometimes I work up to 12 o'clock in the midnight. And my family, they said you're crazy working that much. But it's in my blood, I can't, I can't change it. Even now I'm 50, but still I'm working 12 to 14 hours a day. I don't want to do something, you know, just for living. I want to do something because I love it. I grew up and I always said I've never had anything that you go to a store and put it on. I grew up, my mother was a very, we came from a very poor Irish family and she made all our clothes and I used to say, cut it down here and put sleep. And in my whole life, I don't think I've ever had anything. that You go to a store, you put it on and buy it. It's always being made. And I'm the same way, I just, people say, when are you going to stop? And I never think of stopping, I just think spring, fall, spring, fall. And I never want to stop, till I stop. <laughs> well, thank you both. It's been lovely meeting both of you. you. Good luck in the future. This thank has been Amanda you. Kay with ProfessionalRockstars.com at L'Oreal Toronto Fashion Week with Pat McDonough and Ama.